Jesus as he's moving from place to place. Yeah. He has built the beginning of his church. Yeah. And he's heading for the cross. Yeah. And after his death, burial, and resurrection, yeah. Matthew 28, uh, he said, Go ye therefore. Yeah. Get up. Take action. Yeah. Go ye uh, into the hospitals and nursing homes. Yeah. Teach all nations. Yeah. Baptizing them yeah. in the name of the Father, yeah. in the name of the Son, yeah. and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, but, I, but, I, but there's something here. I listen to some prayers sometimes, and I hear people praying, telling Jesus to go out, go to the hospital, go to the nursing home. But Jesus is saying to us, in this text, you go. That's what he's saying to us. We're telling him, you go, and he told us to go. But I thank you, Lord, that he had been so good to me. The disciples here had received their marching order. And they believed they were ready to go out and turn the world upside down. But you need to know tonight that you can't help nobody if you're in a mess. The same mess that somebody else is in. You got to get right with God. You got to change your life before you can change somebody else. I need to tell you today that we need to separate yeah. ourselves from the world. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 this may not be what you, you came out to hear tonight. Yeah. But if you're going to live like a Christian, yeah. the Bible says separate yourself yeah. from the world. Yeah. Be a part of the world. Yeah. Uh, be, be in the world, yeah. but not a part of the world. Yeah. See, you can live next to a sinner, yeah. but you don't have to do what the sinner do. Yeah. You can just keep bringing him the word. Yeah. I don't care what, what kind of lifestyle he's living in. Yeah. You live a holy life, yeah. and he'll see God through you. Yeah. I need to tell you tonight, yeah. we got to get right yeah. with God and do it now. Yeah. But in this Luke 24, 1, says that, Jesus said, I will send the promise of my Father yeah. upon you. But you tarry in the city of Jerusalem yeah. till you be provided with power yeah. from on high. Yeah. See, we see, we need power in our churches today. Yeah. We, we need the Holy Ghost power yeah. in all of our churches. Yeah. Sometimes I think our churches are dead yeah. because there's no Holy Ghost power there. Yeah. But if we want to be successful as Christians and disciples, we have to ask God to fill us with the same Holy Ghost power that the disciples were filled on on the day of Pentecost. For the word says that they were in this room waiting us, waiting us. They waited for 10 days. They didn't know when or they didn't know where. They didn't know what to expect. But the word said that Peter was there. Yeah. And uh, Peter was there uh, with the other disciples. Yeah. You know who Peter was. Yeah. Peter had just denied Jesus three yeah. times. Peter was a man who always spoke what he thought. Yeah. Sometimes he spoke before he thought. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah. Jesus forgave him yeah. and gave him another yeah. chance. Yeah. But there is Peter yeah. and the other disciples. Uh -huh. And there's some women there too. I don't want to leave them out. Jesus, Mary, the mother of Jesus was there. Yeah. And there were some more women was there. Yeah. And the word said that after 10 days, yeah. there was a great sound from heaven yeah. as a roaring mighty wind. Yeah. And it filled all the house yeah. where they were sitting. Yeah. They had all been there praying yeah. with one accord. Yeah. But now something's happening. Yeah. Something is happening. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is coming in. Yeah. The power is coming in. Yeah. You see, we can't, we can't do nothing down here yeah. unless we are empowered from on high. Yeah. So here they are, and the Holy Ghost came in yeah. and called them to speak with other tongues. Yeah. And Peter got up yeah. from where he was sitting yeah. and began to speak. And he let them know, said, men and brethren, yeah. these are not drunk, yeah. as you suppose. But something has happened on the inside. I tell you, when Jesus comes into your life, something will happen. Deep down on the inside, it'll cause you to quit what you're doing. It'll cause you to turn your life around. When you kneel at the cross where Jesus is, when you come in the presence of God, things will happen in the inside that will cause you to walk like a Christian on the outside. 
I'm so glad tonight that Jesus saved my soul one day, picked me up, and turned me around, put my feet on solid ground. He's my God. He's my king. He's everything to me. I wouldn't do nothing without the Lord. He's all right. He's all right. Peter preached began to win the world for Christ. That's what we are obligated to do today, is to continue to win the world for Christ. No matter whether it's daytime or nighttime, age does not matter how old we are. We must work until our days are done. Amen. We got to stay out there. Even if you're in the nursing home, you can tell somebody, look what the Lord has done for me. Look how he turned my life around. I'm standing sitting here with a smile on my face. I may be getting older, but that by the grace of God, everything is all right. Oh, God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. We pray that the, 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 the seniors, we pray that something's been said to encourage you to continue to live for Christ. Amen. Don't let nothing turn you around. Oh, I know we're going to slow down every now and then. I, I got a birthday coming up Friday, and I'm slowing down a little bit. But, but, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Amen. I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to keep on serving, keep on praising, keep on showing the Lord that I love him. Keep on propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. Any all right tonight? Yeah. Do you love the Lord tonight? Yeah. yeah. I tell you, I love the Lord because he first loved me. Yeah. Gave his son. Yeah. Died on Calvary. Yeah. That I might have a right to yeah. eternal life. Oh, I love him. Yeah. The blood that he shed covered all my sins. Yeah, yeah I got some way to go now. If I sin, yeah. I go on my knees. Yeah. And ask the Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Clean me up. Yeah. Give me another try, this thing. I tell you, you got to love him tonight because he first loved us. Went to the cross and he didn't have to do it, but he died that we might live. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. God bless you. to hear in this word. God is preparing a winning team. Hello, somebody. And he's looking for those in this hour that have not accepted him as his personal savior. Because at the onset of Jesus' ministry, he was looking for those that didn't know who he was. If you are here tonight and have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, the opportunity is here. There's no better setting to have accepted Christ because we'll be fulfilling the call of the book of Titus where the older people were to speak to those of us that were young that didn't know Christ. Have I got a witness? So if you are here and have not accepted Christ, this is our cry, this is our plea. The choir sings softly with everyone to 